Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I'm uh, going through some Walgreens uh, Fairfield uh, boxes. Um, I've seen some with rookies like Mike Trout, um, who else, um, Harper, and, and others. I was like, you know what, I've seen them there before, I figured, let's give them a shot. Uh, on the box it says, uh, where is it at, on the bottom one and four contain a hit i went through two stores and uh, all they had was five of them so i went ahead and picked up all five of them so let's see if we can get a hit an autograph maybe relic um uh game use whatever uh let's see if you can see it right there on the back autograph game used other things in there so let's see maybe we can find that trout rookie which is a card i definitely 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 want um harper not so much never been a fan of his just because i i don't know i'm a mets fan so therefore never like the night the nats or the phillies for that matter but i don't have anything against them <laughs> so don't rip me too hard on that so here we go let's bust this open let's see what we got in here like I say, I've seen some with some really good stuff in there, and I've seen some with some really not so good stuff in there. So let's see here. And the pack is uh, 1990 score. I'll open that up after we go through these and see what, what we got in here. And they're all out of order. Of course they are. We start off with, who is this guy? <laughs> Dakota. Dakota Chalmers. Don't know you. Oh, no, no, I got two of them. That's always good to get two uh, Dakota Charmers. <laughs> Bowman. Uh, Paula Duca. Uh, being a Mets fan, I remember him. Benitez, remember him. Uh, Mueller's, remember him. Prospects, what prospects? Andrew Huff, uh, Joe Creedy, and who was that on the end? Scott C. Don't know him. Reggie Sanders. Look, I'm, I'm low on everything. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Let's flip these things around. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm still trying to figure out a good way to do these videos because uh, my camera, I just can't find a good way to hang it and stuff. So there we go. Still working on it. Uh, Carlos Delgado. Remember him with Toronto. Heck of a career with Toronto. San Diego. Uh, Sean Burroughs. League leaders. Uh, Rob Deere for the uh, Brewers. Uh, not league leaders, team leaders. Gosh, I don't even remember this set. Fleer Platinum, David Bell. Uh, old score, no good there, no good there. Uh, McFarlane, Larry Walker. Hear a lot of people saying he might be Hall of Famer. I'm, I'm on the fence on that one. Uh, Kyle Daniels, I remember he had a solid start to his career and kind of faded. Uh, Mets Tim Tolfel. Pirates Brian, uh, Brian Fisher, don't really remember him. A lad. Let's kind of go through them a little faster. I'm going kind of slow on them. If there's anything very good up in here. Mike McFarlane. That's it. Oh, what is that? 1984 Fleer? Yeah, 1984 Fleer. That's, this right here is about the year I really started collecting. 1984. Uh, Kevin Romine. First year of score back in the day. Reggie Sanders, some more reds. Uh, we got another old school Met there. Maybe we can bring him back because uh, our relief pitching is absolutely horrible. Maybe he can still pitch. <laughs> Randy Tomlin. Uh, this guy was actually from uh, about 10 miles from here, which is which is really funny. I think he might still be uh, a pitching coach at Liberty University. I'm not sure. Rob Wolfog. <laughs> Let's see, 86. I mean, I had a ton of 86 tops back in the day. 1983, I definitely want to get a uh, Tony Gwynn rookie out of that set. Wade Boggs rookie. Uh, Ryan Sandberg. I had them back in the day and sold my collection, so I'm kind of getting back. Hope I can get those cards again. Hal McRae. Uh, Doug Drabeck, I remember he was a Cy Young winner, I believe, back in the day. Uh, Jose Offerman. Kevin McReynolds. Still remember when we traded for him, gave up uh, Kevin Mitchell and one of my favorite Mets of all time who never played for the pros for him, um, never made the big league team, Sean Abner. I got to see him play 
uh, about two miles from here and when he was a league MVP here in the Carolina League. Uh, Ed Whitson. Let's see what we got here. Let's see here. Uh, All-Star game. That's pretty cool. Fulmer. Uh, nope. Nothing right there. I know I'm going slower than I should be. Sorry, guys. And uh, a rookie cup. Best pitcher that year. Best rookie pitcher that year. Yadier. I always liked Yadier Molina. Great pitcher. Or pitcher. Great catcher. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Randall White. Uh, I always like Ricky Henderson. Favorite Ricky Henderson story. Uh, he, he played for the Mets for a little bit, and he was teammates with John Olrude. John Olrude um, wore a helmet. He was a first baseman and wore a helmet in the field. And the, he got traded to Seattle, and Olrude played for Seattle at that time. And Ricky went up to Olrude and said, hey, you know, I used to play for a guy who wore a helmet and played first base. He, and Olrude looked at him and said, well, that was me. <laughs> I always thought, thought that was one of the funniest stories. Fred Manrique. Uh, maybe we can find a Griffey rookie. The crime dog, Fred McGriff. I always liked him, too. Uh, Alvin Davis, he had a good few years and kind of faded away. Uh, two Eric Davises. Remember when he first started, man, he thought he was going to be one of the, the greats. Joey Core, I always loved that card. thought that was a great-looking card. Yeah, it looks like we'll find nothing but commons in the rest of this, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much commons the rest of the way. Freddy Garcia, yep, yep, yep. Sandy Alomar Jr. rookie, yeah, might be a dollar card, maybe. Edwin Diaz. I th you know what? I think that's the... Yeah, I think that's the relief pitcher of the Mets, who when I was at the game uh, a few nights ago, Mets were up 10-4 to in the ninth inning and ended up giving up the lead. Seven runs given up in the bottom of the ninth inning. And my man here gave up the three-run home run to uh, put the dagger in my heart that night. Mark Langston, when he first come up, he was really, really good. Great lefty when he first started. Kind of faded off, but man, he had a great start to his career. Let's see. Bob Zepsik. I remember him here in Lynchburg when he played in the minor leagues. Jason Worth. Oh, wait a minute. Joaquin Aries. That is an autograph card. Uh, 26 out of 100. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. From the Just Miner set from uh, 2003. How about that? It's kind of cool. Get an autograph card. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to get one of those, but that's kind of cool. Wally Backman. Uh, they were talking about him maybe becoming the, moving up to be the Mets manager, and then he had some off the field issues, and that was the last we heard of Wally. Dante Bichette, uh, a lot of people know his son, Bo Bichette. Uh, Dante had a really good career. Uh, and So, yeah, had a really good career coming up. So, great ball player there. Uh, Ken Braxton, uh, Chris Lewis, and so uh, nothing too great in that pack. But, hey, an autograph in there. Let's see, who is in this 90 score? Gosh. Probably commons in this one. I don't really, I don't really think there's much of anything good in this one. You can still find some uh, Hall of Famers in there. Hall of Fame right there, Tony Gwynn. I was just mentioning him when I'm talking about the '83s. Nolan Ryan. That's a that's a good back-to-back -back card right there. Maybe a buck each, but still. Ah, oh, look at that. The Big Hurt. I forgot his rookie card was in these. How about that? The Big Hurt Frank Thomas. Speaking of that, I'm going to have a 90 Bowman unboxing coming up soon. So there you go. The Big Hurt. I'll take that all day long. 
Hall of Famer, the Big Herc Frank Thomas. Still remember back in, in 90 or 91, I, I, it was either the 90 or 91, when um, he had a Fleer Rookie Sensation card that was only available in the cello packs. And one of my friends, he bought one, pulled one. That card at the time was worth about $20 or $30. And my gosh, he was so happy. That was a that was a heck of a day for us. I mean, well, more for him than me. I was so jealous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was awesome to see him pull that card though. All right, let's see what is next. Oh, if we can get them open here. All right. All right, still maybe we can find that Mike Trout rookie. I don't know if any of the other good rookies were in there. I know I've also heard Bryce Harper, like I said, Harper's were found. And um, who else? I don't know about Altave, Jose Altave. I'm not sure if he was found or not. We have a 2017 opening day, Topps opening day. Let's see what we can find in there. All right, let's cut these in half. Let's run through these. Checklist. Oh, checklist. Nobody wants a checklist card. <laughs> Julio Valera. Uh, okay, I'm a Mets fan. No, re no, no recollection of all of him. <laughs> Lynn Matuzak, I remember him a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's just run through them. Uh, Willie Wilson. I remember Willie back in the day. He had a very solid career. Uh, Bob Welsh. Uh, he had a good career when he was uh, avoiding drugs, but when he was on the drugs, he, he, gosh, he, he was suspended many times. I think he was a Cy Young Award winner one year, had like 25 wins. Uh, so he had a uh, very up and down career. There you go. John Olrude. That's who I was talking about. See, he's wearing the helmet, uh, as the first baseman. I think he had a brain aneurysm at one point, I believe is why he had that. Sal Champanera. Okay, I don't remember him either. Uh, El Presidente, Danny Martinez. Remember him a lot with the Orioles back in the day uh, and the Expos. Really good career. Oral Hershiser. Always hated Oral Hershiser. He's the one guy that I, I said, if he ever became a Met, I would still hate him. He later became a Met. I still hated him. <laughs> Tom Brookins. I don't know what that is. Definitely never seen one of those before. Top of the order. I don't remember those. Matt Williams. Man, he had a great shot at 60 home runs. And then the, um, the, stri the strike happened back in 94. He was having a monster season that year. I love these cars. These uh, Flare Ultras when they first came. I think they, those are amazing. Kurt Manwaring. Yeah, he's all right. Bob Brindley. Mostly remembered for being a, a very good manager. Jack Armstrong. It was that Dave Magan. I remember when he came up, I thought he might be a, a batting average leader. Um, it just never quite happened for him. Rick Roden had a good career. Pete Encovilia. I remember in batting practice one time, he hit a ball so hard, it broke a seat uh, in the outfield over when it, when it went over the fence. I've never seen anything like that before. I remember hearing that. I was like, that's insane. Chris Wilkerson, Kent Herbeck. Hey, another checklist. Let's see. Is it the same checklist? No, two different checklists. <laughs> what in the world? The Grand Canyon. Maybe this is the Grand Canyon rookie card. <laughs> Brett Butler. Uh, Dave Weathers. Yeah, he had a mediocre career at best. How about that? Bucky F and Dent. <laughs> That's always cool to have a card. What was that 1980? 1981 tops. 1981 tops. Yeah, I'll throw that right over there. Because that's cool to have a card that old come out of one of these. Miley. Who's that? No, nobody good there. Nobody good there. Sammy Sosa. Uh, we all remember Sammy and, you know, gosh. The whole steroids era. Let's 
see. Cameron Mabin. Remember him? I thought he was going to be a really, really good ball player. Kind of kind of faded away on us. Now, there's an angel. A couple of angels. Not the ones I want, but still a couple of angels. There you go. And let's see what's in this stack of them. I hope you guys can always see it. I'm looking at the cards and then also trying to look at, at the screen also. So trying to find a way to see both. Glenn Davis, I remember when he first come up, he had a great first few years of his career and kind of faded away on us also. Ray Durham, solid early beginning to his career. There's a, a Doug Drabeck. Again, when he first started with the... The Pirates, I believe, is where he first started and had a really solid few years. Saber Hagen, remember he was a Cy Young Award winner. Rich Gossage, a Hall of Famer. Chris Sabo, Andres Galarraga, the Big Cat. Yes, I'm very much a, a 90s guy, 80s, 90s. Loved it, loved baseball back then. I loved the studio cards when they first come out. I thought they were the coolest cards. Let's see. Diamond Debut. Who is that? Upper Deck. Gosh, I can't even see your name, buddy. Uh, Scott Spezio. Scott Spezio. Ah, uh, Jim Abbott. They were just talking. He just ha recently had the anniversary, I think, 25th anniversary of him throwing a no-hitter when he played for the pitch for the Yankees. That, that was amazing. Uh, for those who don't know, look him up. He was born without a right hand, so he would put the glove like on his uh, on his nub because he didn't have a right hand, and he would switch it over really, really quickly. One of the most amazing things you could ever see. Is that Mattingly? Don Mattingly. This guy I still think should be in the Hall of Fame. I really hope he does. He had about a five-year stretch that was as good as anybody that I think I've ever seen. Brad Comments. I remember I thought his was going to be good. Uh, Kerry Matthews, 1981 Fleer. Some more 1981 Tim Foley, Tony Scott. Mike Scott had one great year and then kind of blew his arm out. He, he was one of the first guys throwing that splitter. And it was, it was just almost unhittable his first couple years. Okay. The Diamondbacks. Mark Gubigza. Ah, uh, Winfield Hall of Famer right there toward the end of his career. Another Herbeck. Dave Martinez uh, managing the Nationals right now. I always liked him when he played. Really solid ball player. There's my guy, Sean Abner. Uh, this guy, like I say, I thought he was going to be one of the best baseball players. And unfortunately, uh, he got traded from the Mets to the Padres. And he just kind of faded away. I always liked this kid. Thought it was going to be great. And like I say, just ended up kind of going nowhere. Makes me sad. Bartolo Colon. Uh, he might still be pitching. <laughs> he, he, I know he pitched last year and he's like 100 years old. <laughs> Not really. Uh, Harold Baines. There's a Hall of Famer. And I don't think anything else could be any good in here. Uh, the Wizard. Ozzy Smith. I uh, loved watching him play. Uh, yeah. Ellis Burks, that might be his rookie. No, it's not his rookie. Mad Dog, Bill Madlock, 1982 tops. Uh, he was, I think, a multi-time batting champion, like two or three times. Uh, great hitter back with the, the Pirates back in the day. Chuck Knobloch, he got a case of the yips and couldn't throw the ball to first base for a little bit. Uh, Jared Weaver, again, had a solid couple years. And Miguel Cabrera, triple crown man. Let's see, what is in these right here? Probably not too much. I was never big on the opening day cards, but uh, never know. Let's see. Andrew McCutcheon, always liked him. Uh, Gary Sanchez, that might be uh, toward the beginning of his career. That might be. I don't think it's considered his rookie card, but it might be close. Tyler Olsen, that's actually got the rookie card on there. And we got some snacks from, where are we at? Is this Buffalo? <laughs> that looks pretty good, though. Uh, Jay Bruce for the Mets. 
and Kyle Seager. So uh, it might be a it might be a rookie card. That's that's early on him as well. Next, and for those who don't know, I did get a one touch uh, just in case I pull that Trout rookie. Just in case. Like I said, I mean, odds are very much against it, but you know what? We're saying there's a chance. All right, there's, there's that. Let's see, what pack do we have in here? We have another opening day. This is from 2018 Tops Opening Day. Set that right there. All right, Chris Davis, who had back-to-back -back years where he had almost the same stats, I think 40-plus home runs back-to-back. -back. That was pretty cool. Uh, Cody Bellinger, that's the Leaf. That might be his Leaf rookie. That's pretty cool. We'll pull that uh, Bellinger aside right there. That's always pretty sweet. Remember when Odor, he got in a fight and about knocked someone out. That was one of the greatest things I ever saw. Andrew Miller had one of the greatest postseasons ever and haven't seen anything from him since. Let's see, Chris Carter, David Freeze, uh, these old, old kind of junk box cards. I don't usually call those the junk box because they were so overprinted back in the day. That's a cool card. I don't remember ever seeing this set back in the day. Ah, a couple of Topps traded cards from 1988. Danny Jackson, Tim Belcher. Big Mo Vaughn in there. Jay Buhner. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the Shades cards when they come out. They were, they were huge. They were huge. People loved these. They would pay, uh, like this regular card was a, a quarter. They'd pay $2, $3 for, for one of these back in the day. Danny Tartable, remember when he made a, an appearance on Seinfeld? Still love Seinfeld. One of my favorite shows of all time. I do not have a clue who this is. but Oh, he's a clubhouse manager. There you go. <laughs> Bob Long. See those regular cards? Yep, those are regular uh, 86 tops. 85 Dunruss. Dennis Martinez. El Presidente. To me, it's kind of cool finding some of these older cards in there. I, I really didn't expect to find any of those, even though some of these are really not worth anything. Uh, Terry Pendleton, former Rookie of the Year. Or, excuse me, MVP. Not Rookie of the Year, MVP. I thought these were cool tops cards right here. I thought those were cool. So I'm going to see if that was one of the uh, variants. I don't think so. Yeah, let's see. Kiko Garcia, 1982. Now, if we can find a, a Cal Ripken, that'd be his rookie card from 1982. Let's put these over here on this side. And Jim Sumberg. 1984 tops. Love this set. I guess mainly because it had um, Daryl Strawberry's rookie, uh, Don Mattingly, and a few more. I was I always been a huge Strawberry fan. Mark Lewis. I remember seeing him play in the minor leagues. Thought he's gonna have a really good career. It was all right, but nothing nothing too spectacular. Mark Trumbo. Let's see here. Diamond Kings. Always love Diamond Kings. Edgar Martinez. Uh, just became a Hall of Famer. Jack Morris. I think Jack's in the Hall. See, all these turn the wrong way. Ah, like triple plays. Ah, never was huge on those. Hubie Brooks. I always liked Hubie. Rusty. Well, Rusty. <laughs> Sid Bream, I believe he played, uh, graduated from uh, Liberty University here. Uh, Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer. That's, um, 
think that's his second year, I believe. I believe 88 was his second year. Joel Skinner and a checklist. Kevin Mitchell, uh, MVP. Kyle Eldred, I thought he was going to be a solid ball player. Sid Fernandez, he wore number 50 because he is from Hawaii, the 50th state. That's why he wore that. Tommy Herr, Sammy Sosa. Uh, White Sox, that's before he got traded to the Mets. Not the Mets, the Cubs, excuse me. Before he got traded to the Cubs. That's early on in his career. I always thought these were cool cards. This, this set of Bowman here. Um, I was thinking those were the update ones, but those are not. I thought it was cool. They had the signature on the side. I like the, the blue on there. I thought that was cool. And ah, uh, let go of my hand. Let go of my hand. And uh, nothing else in there. Kansas City Royals. All right. Did I have a pack in there? Did I? There. That's where I put it. I put it behind the, the Cody. And two more. Hopefully I can find that good rookie card. Ragged Odor. Uh, George Springer. Awesome. Awesome player right there. Uh, Sano. Is that a cool card there? The D-backs. Salerte, Hellickson, uh, Dansby. I still think this young man's going to have a really great career. I, I really like him. I think he's got a lot of potential. And two more to go. Come on, let's find uh, another hit. It'd be great to have another autograph. Uh, still hoping I can get, uh, maybe get lucky and find that Trout rookie or uh, Bryce Harper. Again, I'm not a fan of Bryce, but... You know, it'd be really cool to pull that. Very cool, very unexpected if I could pull that. Uh, 90 upper deck. Uh, we'll save that to the end. Let's see who all is in there. Sammy Sosa rookie. Um, is that the low series? Uh, I believe this is the low series. All right, start off with some uh, 1990 Fleer. I don't remember there being too much great in here. But, I mean, there's some Hall of Famers that you could still find, but um, nothing, usually usually nothing great that would come out of these. This is a, a design I was not really a fan of when they come out. Francisco Cabrera had a, one of the biggest hits in the history of the the Braves, I remember when he had that hit, we had a baseball card shop. His card went from common bands to 3 $4 overnight. People could not get enough of him. And a few months later, it dropped back down to nothing. <laughs> That'll teach you. Don't, um, don't fall for the hype, guys. Don't fall for the hype. Someone has one big pitch, one big hit. Remember, uh, they need to have a career, not just one or two uh, moments. What year is this right here? Uh, 2004. Let's see. I don't know who would be uh, rookies out of this set. Brian Jordan. I remember he played for uh, baseball and football in Atlanta for the Falcons and the Braves at the same time. Well, not literally at the same time, but in the same season. Ah, Cabrera for Detroit. And a few more of these. Ah, these are kind of commons right here. Let's put those with those. They're no good. Some 87 tops. Harold Reynolds. Always good to hear him on TV. Really, really good uh, commentator. Uh, great analysis. I, I loved him when he was on ESPN. And then all of a sudden one day he was not. Gary Matthews, also known as Sarge, back in the day for the Cubs. Mike Tyson. No, not that Mike Tyson. <laughs> Let's see. Billy Sample. I remember him. He was commentator for the uh, the Braves for a little while. He was a terrible commentator. 
Absolutely. I mean, he, he would bore you completely to sleep. There go Padita. Steve Garvey, 1984. That's pretty cool. Dave Parker, uh, the Cobra. I always like this set. A lot of people don't know where this come from. Uh, it was a limited edition that came with the Fleer factory sets in 1987 in tribute to the 1986 World Series between the, the Red Sox and the Mets. I bought a set, a factory set, just so I could get these because I am a huge Mets fan. Actually, that's not these. There's another one that looks like this. That's not these. My bad. Because <laughs> there was, a, I think it was a 12 issue uh, set that came in the uh, 87. Uh, 87 set or 80 yeah 80 no 86 might have been the 86 set 86 top set i'm way off on my knowledge on that sorry guys that was that was a boo-boo that was a boo-boo see try to get these things straight kind of some kind of order all right let's see what do we got here armando reynoso Corey patterson i remember that kid and we, everybody thought man, he's going to be really, really good. And he kind of faded away fast. John Crook, great announcer. I really like his announcing. Uh, add some comedy along with it. Really, really good. Howard Johnson. I remember when he was a 30-30 a man for the Mets. Let's, all right, let's turn these right side up. All right. Shane Raleigh, 89 upper deck. Juan Gonzalez, solid career there. Uh, these cards only come in rack packs, these all-star cards. Hall of Famer, Dale Unser, 1981. Martinez, another Galarraga. Let's see, hey, we got another signature card. Felipe Paulino. Felipe Paulino. I do not know who Felipe is. I'm not going to lie. Uh, 2009 Upper Deck Signature. How about that? Four boxes, two hits. That's not too bad. I wish it was better hits, but still, it's a hit is a hit. Kevin Zeitzer. I remember when he first come up, huge. Remember he won the batting title when he first come up? Uh, when uh, 87 Fleer first come out, this was the hottest card in the set for a while and then kind of faded away. Davy Lopes, solid ball player for a long time. Doug DeCenso, now the Old Root. Uh, let's see, I can turn all these around. Up, oh, turn them around to one side, and I still need to turn them around. Dog on it. Man. All right. Jordan Montgomery, uh, rookie cup card. Come on. Darren O'Day. I remember thinking he was going to be really good for the Orioles, and I uh, never quite was. Yes, every one of them's upside down. When I turn them the other way, they'll be upside down again. Uh, I didn't know how, how, how long he had been in there. I remember when these come out, I love these cards. I don't know why, but I always did. I always tried to find one that had the Mets uh, logo on them. Frank Tanana. I had a whole bunch of Mets logo ones back in the day. Those stickers. And Mickey Mailer. That was Mickey Hatcher. All right. Nah, nothing too good in that, but we did get that hit, so that was pretty cool. And let's see, see if we can't get, um, what, a Sammy Sosa rookie. I can't think of anything else that was big in this, this year. Uh, 1990. Let's see, Nolan. There we go. Nolan Ryan. This, this has got to be close to the end of his, uh, his career. You know, he's somewhere near here. I think he may, maybe a couple more years he played. Hey, there's a Sosa rookie. How about that? Got a Sosa rookie. Let's see. Hey, Deion Sanders. I forgot prime time. Prime time. 
in, uh, in the holograms. I, I, I'll be honest, I did like the holograms. I know a lot of people just chucked them, threw them in the trash. I always liked them. Again, I looked for my Mets. Rick Sutcliffe, former Cy Young Award winner. But hey, Sanders and um, Sosa, maybe a couple of bucks. I don't, I don't even know what they're going for nowadays. Let's see. Slide days back. And the last one, again, hoping to find those two good cards. I don't, I say I don't anticipate it, but hey, you never know. You never know. All right. All right. And what pack is in this one? Looks like an opening day. Yes, it is an opening day. It is opening day 2017. All right, we'll start right here. All right, we're. I, I really do feel like no matter what side I start at, it's going to be backwards. It's going to be backwards. <laughs> All right, here we go. Jose Mesa. That's pretty cool. I always like those uh, gallery cars. I think that's gallery. I believe that's Topps Gallery. Oh, and they're upside down. <laughs> yeah, Monte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. All-star game. Is that like a subset from those? I'm not, I don't think that's a subset. Bobby Bonilla. I believe that's Bobby Bo's rookie. I think. I believe that's Bobby's rookie. Another Sandy Alomar. That's two rookies. We had the Don Russell and now we got the score one. Derek Bell. Derek had a decent career. Nothing great. How about that? Back to back, Andy Van Slyke. Slick, they called him back in the day. Now, one of my friends, he loved him when he played for the Pirates. Uh, there you go. 1986 and 1988. Whoa. Hey, let's go with one more. How about that? And a 1989. Two tops and a Fleer. Saberhagen, early Saberhagen. I think that his rookie was in 85. Yeah, 1985. So that's second year card. Rick Roden. Look, another Slyke. Another Slyke. So this is the Andy Van Slyke pack. Jim Norris. Not Chuck. Not Chuck Norris. Jeff Cirillo. Chris Smith. Hey, an old school 1981 checklist. <laughs> Ruben Sierra. I really liked Ruben back in the day. Ah, there's a Jim Abbott again. I think that's the same card we got earlier. Casey Kochman. Wayne Tollison. Uh, Don Russ, the rookies. Let's see here. Mike Harkey. Mike Hartley, not Harkey. My bad. <laughs> Jimmy Key, solid ball player for a few years. Charles Nagy, rookie. Don't mistake him from the coach of the Chicago Bears. Not the same Nagy. <laughs> 1989 World Series. And Neil Heaton. Neil Heaton. All right, let's see. Last few. Let's see where we can turn them around at. So most of them. Oh golly! No matter what side I look at, I'm always facing the wrong side. There we go. Davy Johnson, uh, one of my Mets heroes because he brought that championship to New York back in 1986. Darnell Coles. Melvin Yeves. Come on. Let's find, let's find one of those good rookies in here. Paul O'Neill. A solid career. Gary DiCercino. Uh, Brian Jordan. Again, played football and baseball. Jeff Kent. Tony La Russa. I always like these throwback cards. I just think they're cool. 
Uh, uh, it does not appear, and we'll find anything else. Tony Clark, uh, he was the let's see the uh, ML, MLB uh, players advocate or players president for a while. Might still be, I'm not sure. Barry Zito had a good few years. I always like these cards. <laughs> I thought that that those pinnacle cards look cool. Chris Young. Ah, that's awesome. Buner with Griffey right there in the background. That's nice. David Freeze. He had a solid few seasons. Tom Browning. I remember him back in the day. Gypsy Queen. And does not look like I'm going to get one of those rookies. Uh, you know, you don't expect to, but you kind of, you hope. You hope you can find one of those good rookies. But, yeah, we tried. Let's see, what year is that? Uh, 2016. Well, they're not going to be in 2016. And this last pack, let's see if anything any good is in here. The 2017 Josh Don, hey, we got a, a foil card there. Foil rookie. Hey, that's kind of cool. Uh, Chris Davis. Hey, there's a trout. It's not the rookie, but you know what? Hey, anytime you can find a trout in something, that's pretty good. So at least I got a Mike Trout. Not the Mike Trout, but a Mike Trout. So that's all I got. Uh, like I say, in the future, I'm going to still be doing more unboxings. And I'm hoping to find a better setup at some point. But, you know, we go, we'll see what we can find. Let's see what the, the best stuff we ended up with. Uh, that Trout opening day. Uh, Dion and Sammy rookie cards. Uh, we got two signatures. Two signature cards. So, out of five packs, two of the uh, autograph hits. Eh, I mean, neither one of them are, are anyone that most people have heard of, but still. Uh, Bellinger, I believe that's his Leaf Rookie, I think. I don't have to look that up, but I, I believe that's his Leaf Rookie. Let's see. What does it say on the back here? Uh, uh, I hate it when they don't put stats on the back. <laughs> but I believe that that's either his Rookie, maybe second year. Uh, Bucky Dent. <laughs> oh, and let's not, not forget the Big Hurt Rookie card. So remember, he when he played football at uh, Auburn, he was a tight end at Auburn. So, and well, those others aren't really good, but still, that's all we got. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to look to watch. I'm going to be doing, like I say, more videos from uh, more baseball cars, more football. Uh, I'm gonna be having a hockey unboxing coming up soon. And you know, when I find stuff, I'll definitely be showing them along with uh, my comic books and stuff as well, because I'm a just nerd collector, <laughs> I collect all kinds of stuff. But uh, that's all I got, and you guys. Have an incredible day.